Girls and Pretty Freaks episode 50. 50. 50. 50. I am Neil C. I am Annalise. And we are here in lovely Reno, Nevada, in our uh, hotel room. Hotel room. So it's a, if it's a little noisier than normal, if our production value is, I am drunk. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. If our production value is uh, less than expected or less than, you know, normal. Which is not that good anyway. Hey, it's all right. We do a good job. Uh, it's because we're using a different setup and I was not We're using our enough. mobile setup. <laughs> yeah, not sober enough to set it up. I am right now drinking a like pediatric a, electrolyte. Pedialyte. Yes. To, uh, the generic version of Pedialyte. You just drop some stuff on your phone there. That's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Just, that it's, just uh, wipes off. What flavor off. is this? Grape. I have grape flavor Pedialyte. <laughs> if you watch the video, you can actually see our bar set up on the <gasps> oh table. Oh my gosh. But anyway, episode 50. Did I say my name? I'm Neil C. Yeah, you did. <laughs> what, what's your name? I already said my name. Say who I am. Ah, it's tasty. <laughs> what are you drinking? Um, a uh, Monster Rehab lemonade, pink lemonade, and mm -hmm. vodka. Very nice. Because uh, I get oh, tired and I need to stay, a, that's need to stay awake for this. Should take off my bracelets. Okay. We're actually dressed like normal people today. Normally we're all... In pajamas? <laughs> yeah. We're actually dressed in our going out clothes, which just means we took off the pajama bottoms and put on jeans. <laughs> yeah, most of the time I'm either in my pajamas completely or half pajamas in the videos. So Right. So, uh, it's either all or half pajama. <laughs> Let's start off by thanking everybody for listening. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. 50 episodes. Here we are. 50 episodes. Almost Thank a year. Thank you so much, In a couple everybody. weeks, it'll be one year. Crazy. A one-year podiversary. Crazy. And uh, it's really cool because our little podcast has grown and people seem to be into it, which mm -hmm. is freaking insane and awesome. Who are you cheersing? Mm. The, the microphone? <laughs> uh, so that's really cool. So thank you so much. Thank you for all the kind words and all the reviews on all the different sites. It's so weird not having headphones on. I know. I can't hear <laughs> myself. So, But uh, that's awesome. I uh, kind of like not having he headphones on because they kind of hurt my ears. All the... Oh, Don't start with me. Okay. That's how we're getting... Okay. Podcast over. Huh. But all the uh, all the friends that we've made and all the positive reviews and listen, that just... It's awesome. We don't even know how we got to <laughs> this point, but it's freaking mm -hmm. cool. So... Thank you. Yay. Thank you. Uh, you can go to darkangelsandprettyfreaks.com and follow us on all the other stupid things we do, like Facebook and Twitter and <laughs> what is the other the thing with the Are picture? Are you supposed to call them stupid? <laughs> well, they're silly. I wouldn't say stupid. I wouldn't say stupid. Don't get me into my political correctness. Yeah, let's again. not start that again this morning. Um, we had that conversation today. And by political correctness, I am all for political correctness. I don't want to make it sound like I'm one of those who are sitting like, oh, what's all these people? You know, like, let's not use words that offend other people to describe, I don't know, anything. Oh my God, I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I digress. Who would that I digress? Okay. Um, let's just go ahead and jump in. Mm -mm. No, we have more things? Let's try. No, I have nothing. <laughs> I do have, I do have the appraisal thing. Do you remember? Do, yeah, yeah, do it, do it, do it. No, you've, no, what no. do you have to say? I was going to talk about Lisa's birthday because I want um, to start it like last week and play catch up till. Yeah. How'd you know my name was Lisa? Okay. No. That's a Polly Shore reference. Is it? Yeah. Jesus. You would know. You would know. <laughs> okay, so, what are we so, talking about? Um, You talk about the appraisal guy. Oh, okay. I will. So, um, we were having our house appraised and the appraisal guy came over. And uh, we have it in the window, in the front window of our house, as well as on the two fences on either side of the house, there's a, we actually have gates on, if you're looking at our house on the far left and the far right, there are gates. On both sides. With, with gates. Yeah. And on those gates, we have a... Um, beware of dog. Beware of dog. Doberman. And Doberman. Yeah. So they're both Doberman silhouettes that say if you run into this yard you'll probably right. get killed and by then a in the window there's a and one that says protected by doberman right so when the appraiser pulled up to the house and he came out i met him outside i put zero in the car because i figured he wouldn't want zero to help him appraise the house right zero is all up in your mix when you... which is funny because zero got in the car and he's like mom going to sleep i yeah. could care less the guy's walking in out of the driveway zero's not even barking i'm like yeah. that great freaking <laughs> Watchdog. Secure door. Yeah. Secure door? I don't right, know what that means. Just, so anyway. Just keep going. <laughs> so we have we have these these signs, and so the guy comes. Really nice, really nice guy. Older gentleman. And I wasn't home. Really so friendly guy. Heard all about this later. And so he, he sees the, all these Doberman signs. He sees all... I'm going to take a sip of my Pedia light. He, ta he sees these Doberman signs, and he goes, <laughs> oh, uh, you have a Doberman. And I said, unfortunately, no. Sadly, we had to say goodbye to him last month. 
And in our front yard, if you're looking at our front door, to the right, we have a large orange tree that's producing oranges right and now. And there's a Doberman um, so, iron. Iron silhouette. Yeah. We have do yeah. we're, we're crazy yeah. pet people, so we have Doberman. A really cool, like, lawn art kind of Doberman thing. So anyway, so this guy's like, oh, he sees, obviously, you can't miss the orange tree. No, for sure. So he sees the signs. He goes, oh, you have Doberman. I say, no. Sadly, we had to say goodbye to him last mm -hmm. month. And he goes, oh, well, at least you still have oranges. And I'm like, what? Wait, what? What? <laughs> And then, the and then there's this really awkward pause. Yeah, like, I didn't know what to what? say. I'm like, I don't know. No, I think I'd much rather have my dog <laughs> no. than a bunch of orange. But yeah, he just, and he said it like it was no big deal. Yeah, and we he have just, an orange tree, so everything's cool. He just kept on going. <laughs> the guy was totally cool and a huge sports fan. I actually gave him some uh, 49er oh. memorabilia. He was just such a cool guy but it was yeah. he said it like no big well at least you still got oranges let's so, move on yeah anyway. so uh <laughs> what remodels have you done to the house in the last three years so it was interesting so there's my oh my, my gosh it was interesting yeah you're like uh yeah mm. anyway pedialyte is solid yeah it's not good good stuff i hate that crap so anything what do you with got? electrolytes in it i don't it's like salty or something i don't like it i anyway. got something salty for you uh-huh uh -huh. um <laughs> what was that? <laughs> um, I wanted to talk about our trip to uh, Benihana. Let's do it. So I don't remember if we talked about this last week or not. Did you actually don't talk? Don't on the table because it's going to sound like someone's right. knocking on my dome. <laughs> uh, um, did we actually No, because talk... we, went, we went on Sunday. We okay. recorded on Saturday. I, would I think love we it. talked that we were going to go. Right. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, that's right. We talked about we are going to go, and then we posted a couple no pictures from the rest of the But I would like you yeah. to tell Me. the story, yes, mm -hmm. of when we got in your parents' car. Yes. And then the car ride over to Benihana in the city. I have a lot of parents' stories because I have their tax yes. stories. Yes, that's that's an addendum because that's later in the week. An addendum. But um, so we get in the car. Yeah. And it's approximately, would you say, three minutes before oh, the insane no. amount of cursing yeah. <laughs> comes out of your dad's mouth. My dad, of whom we've talked about many times, is one of my best friends. He was he, the one who actually walked you down the aisle. Yes, at our he wedding. is amazing. He's a lovely man. He's a very loving, he is, caring He is the person. person I strive to be and will always fall short of. And I would say on a day to day basis, does not have a potty mouth but for some reason oh no on a day-to-day -day basis really oh i'm only ever around him during functions he, and so he and he is, as your your mom your mother always tells me that he amps it up for functions right. he has and always he's, had a potty he's fun mouth. Right. and you know all that so he has always had a potty mouth however <laughs> when there is a, a now that he's retired and my mom's retired when he gets a new audience meaning when yeah. we come over my sister it is so, he dials it up He's Let also me, one of those that if he tells a joke and it doesn't work the first time, he'll tell it three more times. He'll tell it again <laughs> just louder. He's and and he is I wouldn't say to his core he's racist. I don't no, believe not at he all. is. No, no, no. However, he's, he's he, a, a very lovely man. Yeah. However, he does sometimes say things that are racist. And I think I figured And I this think out. it's just the time I, he grew up but he has no I don't even think it's that. I I think that it's actually that he's actually trying to cause our, to create a conversation. Like he's actually like, he almost wants you to get upset because he wants to talk about it. He just likes to talk. And yeah, and but I, like and I his told, whole Chinese person voice. Yeah, no, no, that's that's him just being. But yeah. that's a little racist. That is very racist. However, the beautiful thing about that is he doesn't sound at all like a Chinese person. He sounds like a drunk Elmer Fudd. So everybody starts making fun of it. And the funny thing is. is he takes is that so well. Where I grew so well. up yeah. and my mom, my mom and I, and you too, our group of friends is super eclectic. Right. Especially considering we're not stereotypical, quote unquote, white. We're both darker skin and right. have many. So our our group of friends, everything from yeah. whatever. Whatever, yeah. Colors, religions, right. sexual orientation. We don't care. I mean, even me. <laughs> I don't right. even know what my sexual orientation That's is, very let alone anything else. All right. Let so, alone yours. I mean, really. Okay. <laughs> It is Saturday. so. My dad's a little. <laughs> my dad's a little old school, or a little rough around the edges. And I would like to say, the first time we met, I came over to your house to meet your parents. Mm -hmm. They invited me over, and I walked in. And your mother was so loving and open, and she's like, "Hi, it was so nice to meet you." She hugged me and she kissed me on the cheek. And your dad came right over and he hugged me. He's like, "It's so great to finally meet you and come in." He's a beautiful man. He's a good. 
good right. man. And then you clocked it at like, and you made a joke about it. And I Just think it was four minutes. Yeah, it was like four minutes. And he was like, what the fucking shit is this? Yeah, he has. <laughs> and I almost spit out my drink. And and your mom was horrified. Yeah. And you're like, dad, come on. It was like four minutes. And he yeah. just started cracking up. And he looked at me. And he's like, he's like, oh, he I'm sorry. Is, are you offended? I'm like, and I just started cracking. I'm like, no, no, please. But, right. Because you, literally... you back then, and still do, but you have a fairly good potty, potty mouth, mouth myself. Yeah. But I control it a little. I mean, right. it's. But yours, anyway. yours is to like, you're like, holy shit, that thing was yeah. huge. As opposed to, this tastes like shit. You're not. Yeah using it to put it but my dad so he and a lot of times i use it like if something scares me or surprise i'm like oh shit like it's not like anyway so So beautiful man lovely man okay so so we got (laughs) we got we got in the car and we we didn't even make it out of the driveway was it not i thought i thought it was like a couple of minutes when it was not even out of the driveway i don't i don't even think it was off their street (laughs) i don't think it was off the street because by the time we turned the corner remember i was saying i was got to work titties and vagina into it somehow so he just starts with the, and he doesn't even know he does it. No. He'll be like, what the fuck is this bullshit? Yeah, we'll so that's like, just it. We'll, we'll be like, like what turn bullshit? The corner and, and he'll be like, like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. And there was and, like, and we're like, what? What? And he's like, I don't know where the turn it, because they got a new car. So he's like, I don't know where the turn indicators are. But that was just it. I was like, and I, and at this point, it's an ongoing joke. I looked at my watch. I was like, so I clocked that one in about three yeah. minutes. We were in this car for three minutes where your dad lost his shit. Yeah. We were, we were in Benihana. My, my cousin, um, who works for a, a very successful investment, uh, firm. investment trading firm. Yes. Um, I don't want to say which no, one. No, for sure. But anyway, she she was going through some issues with her contract and wanting more money. And she gets she gets paid very well. However, she should be getting more for what she does. As and well she as, was supposed to. Right. And my and when my someone dad agrees to pay you something busy, and they don't pay you that. Right. In a very then. busy Benihana. Fortunately, we had the whole grill <laughs> yes. because we had such a large group. Right. To ourselves. He goes, Yeah, those fucking assholes. In the and, and everyone's like, oh, and I look at my mom I'm like, make him shut up. And he's like, What? What did I say? What did I say? Like, what's the problem? Yeah. Oh. But so in the car, mm-hmm. he's cursing up a storm, mm-hmm. and uh, we're on your way to pick up your sister. Mm-hmm. And right as we, I, really I should take these off. Yeah, you should. Jingle um, so when we go, we're driving in the car, and he's cursing up a storm. And For the manly men who listen to our podcast, I'm taking off my bracelets right now because they're, they're too loud, too much. Yeah. So um, he, uh, so take your mom's just like. <laughs> Um, leave the skirt on, because then you have something to lift up. What? No, I'd rather be naked and be like, <laughs> All right. I'm so, um, anyway, so it's cursing up a storm, and so you were just making fun. You're like, dude, what is wrong? Come on, seriously? He's like, you can just randomly, like, you don't need to, like, Well, do I that. start, I play along. So no. he'll start swearing, and then I'm like, fucking ain't right. Right, Shit, yeah. Dude, and then, you, right, and so we all start, and then you're like, you know what? You gotta work. Titties. Yeah, he's like, you know, you need to work some new stuff in there. How about every time you say that, I'm going to say titties. Titties and vagina. And yeah. then my mom's cracking up. My sister's cracking up. Right. Here, but, well, then, but then, that's what I'm saying, is we stopped and picked up your sister, and your sister gets in the car. I'm like, hey, what's like, up, titties? <laughs> she's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> and then, so you told, you told her what was going on, and then, of course... Five minutes later, your dad starts cursing again, and then both the you yell titties, and your sister yells vagina, and right. both me and your mom are just like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 oh, my, my poor sister. She's the whole the whole drive there was like, "She's fucking having, shit, titties, yeah. vagina." <laughs> she's having a difficult time right now, and she's not as happy as I would like to right. see her. However, she along very well it is hilarious to see her laugh uncontrollably. She was laughing at you part of the time, too, because you would say when we were in Betty Hanna's and you said something, you have this tendency of which I want to get. Oh, I'm going to get into it now. I'd like to crawl in your head because (laughs) how you tie things together and and pull. I don't even know. But you said something in Benny Hanna's that was one of those leaps of faith that only you would take. And my I don't sister, even remember that. my sister was cracking up and looked at you, and she looked at me, and she goes, "What is that?" I'm like, "I do not know." I don't remember that. But it was like he was making fried rice, and you're like, "Oh, he makes it that way because when he was a boy, he saved a panda out of a tree." Yes, I didn't say but anything. But that's how random it is. Obviously, let's I didn't say talk about today. like that. You go ahead. No, no, about the the gambling. So we're in Reno, so we're doing a little gambling. Yes. And I'm a big fan of video poker. Mm-hmm. And I'm usually pretty good at it. Mm-hmm. However, t- today, I got a little greedy and played a game we that I'm not used to. We were both very good at it yesterday. We, yeah. we left uh, 
less nice. Well, you you well. won. I broke even. Yes. Um, but today I got a little greedy. Mm -hmm. Played a game that I normally don't play. Yes. And lost some money, mm -hmm. and then went back to the game I'm used to. But however, I play pretty much how you're supposed to play by the book. Mm -hmm. You play how you feel the machine <laughs> wants you to play. Yes. And you win. Yes. And sometimes you don't even see the cards that are there and still win. Yes. How this happens, I don't know. I think that I'm fairly... I'm like, you know, you had three sevens. You're like, yeah, but now I got four aces. I'm like, you threw away three sevens. You're like, yeah, it's all right. Yeah, but I still won, so that's good. Yeah. But, um, so, yeah. I mean, I, I think that overall I'm a fairly lucky in life kind of person. I mean, like, I'm not like so lucky that oh i'm gonna play lottery and we're gonna retire as millionaires nothing like that i just tend to be okay and mm -hmm. i tend to break even right so yeah but i played but it's not that, on twenty dollars for it's how, two hours but it, and, right and then we get all the drinks which is why we're drunk now but right. it's the it's god i can't even i should have written it down the um, way but that it's, it's the way, the way that my brain works yeah like when we're talking about something else and you were like oh that's probably like that you know oh because of the drink is yeah. that what you want to talk about? So um, we kept hearing people ordering a drink called enchilada. Right. And, uh, and I was like, I don't no, know what that we is. we didn't hear anybody order a drink called enchilada. The, the waitresses came We back. heard the people who, the waitresses right. that go around to the slot machines ordering From an the enchilada. Bar, right. So and at first I thought maybe she was like ordering food or something. Like they were discussing what they're all going to have for lunch or mm -hmm. something because it was around lunchtime. But um, then I was like, oh, you know what? That's a drink. I don't know what that is. And then you're like, oh, yeah, I don't either. And then I then I said, oh, I bet you it's a Bloody Mary. Yeah. And yeah. you're like. I don't know. I'm like, how did you come up with that? <laughs> and you're like, what? Why would you think that's a Bloody Mary? I'm like, I don't know. It just seems right. And so a little while later, while you were actually in the oh bathroom. Oh, my God, it's a Bloody Mary. I'm going to throw this freaking microphone and everything. Well, then I, better, the <laughs> then I better hold it. Is it a Bloody Mary? So here's what it oh, is. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're killing me. She came back and she ordered two more. <laughs> this is the last episode of this goddamn podcast. I am done. So she comes back and she orders a couple more for whoever. A couple more and enchiladas. A couple more enchiladas. She's like, okay, need two more enchiladas. And the lady's like, okay. And so I kind of lean over and I'm trying really hard to see what she's doing because she's doing it like behind, you know, like she has her back to me. So what it is, it's, it's basically a half a glass of Clamato okay. with a salted rim. The other half is beer. So it's, what was it that Grant was telling us? Was that the drink Grant was telling oh, us? Oh, I don't know. But we were talking about like the yeah. Caesar and the different kinds yeah, yeah, of Bloody yeah. Marys and stuff. So it's kind of but, a, uh, an enchilada. Well, okay. That's and you know what? Maybe there's other things in it. But what I saw her right. put in was at, um, it was a half a glass of Clamato juice. And the other half was um, one of those uh, Spanish beers. The Modelo? M. Yes. So she opened one of those and she poured it in and she salted the rim and wow. she handed it to her. So it's kind of a beer bloody, bloody Mary. Yeah. So what is that called? A bloody um There was Bloody Bull. Isn't it no, a bloody no? No, bloody bulls with Red Bull. Oh. Um there's there is a drink like Someone the morning the morning after drink that has its beer and tomato juice. But I forget what it's called. Right. Wow. And your mom really likes um she was telling me that she likes beer and um is it champagne? Beer and champagne? Beer and orange juice? Beer and orange juice. That's Brass what it monkey. is. Brass. Is that what that's called? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that. But um, anyway, so yeah, it was kind a of a Mimosa. strange version of a Bloody Mary. Not right. exactly a Bloody Mary, but yeah. It Crazy. Was. <laughs> My yeah, brain is in there. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes we'll talk about stuff. And the way you jump to conclusions on stuff, no. Well, I guess a little callback to uh, Office Space. But uh, <laughs> the way you jump to conclusions, I'm like, how do, you, how do you come up with that? It's not even relative. <laughs> Not even, oh my gosh. Well, I'm old. I got a lot of experience up in there. No, I don't know. Oh, my dear Lord. As well squeeze as that tiny yeah. head. Why well, squeeze hit. your big head? You can't. This thing's gigantic. Your little digits couldn't get around this. That's absolutely true. I got little hands and you have a big old melon. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, so Benny Hanna's was good. Your dad is hilarious and curses up a storm. Right. And uh, that's, yeah, that's all I want. Did you want to tell how your parents went over to do taxes? <laughs> You we can't. To? Oh yes, I was going to go to podcast without borders, but we can go to tax. You want to go to taxes? Yes, because we're already talking about your parents. So, so um, I do my parents' taxes now. Not that, but you have for a while. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I haven't forever. I mean, no, yes. five or six years, whatever long it's been. Um, so anyway, so my mom said, 
My mom was leaving for Argentina soon to go see our family, and she wanted me to do taxes before they left. And she said, uh, my parents' house is on the in between my work and our house. Mm -hmm. So, obviously... Like it's literally right on the way. You have to just get up on this. Right in yeah. the middle. Yeah. Um, and she said, well, you can come over, or we can come to your house. And so I asked, I said, well, would you mind coming up so you can bring your dog? They have a standard poodle named Max. And since Zero hasn't... He's, had a dog to play with. Right. We don't have, obviously, don't have seven for him to play with on a normal basis. He does play with other dogs when we go for walks or whatever. <laughs> or when they when other dogs chase come him. out to chase yeah, them. Yeah, when they chase them. Um, but I thought it would be fun for him if he had a buddy to play with for a couple hours while I did their taxes. And they said, yeah, sure, no problem. So they were going to come up, or they, they did come up, and uh, we had a plan for them. I, I left work early so I could go home and clean up a bit, take the dog for a walk uh, so he wasn't all rambunctious when they came up. My parents, uh, my mom texted me and said, hey, would you mind terribly? We have to pick up, they belong to a, a champagne club in Napa. We have to pick up our champagne. Would you mind terribly? If we did that, we're going to, they're throwing ice all over the place. That's fine. Don't worry about that. Um, are you just adding ice? Yeah. Or do you want to add I'm going to add some more stuff. You go ahead. Okay. Um, you just worry about you. <laughs> I am worried about me because I'm afraid that's going to end up on me. Um, since it's on the, yeah. I got it. So, um, they, my mom says, okay, we're going to, we're going to stop by Domaine Chandon and pick up our champagne. We're going to have something to eat, but it might mean we're going to be a little bit late. And I said, that's fine. I had planned for the afternoon for them to and be there. And it's the same day that you, um, record Gotham, Gotham podcast. Yeah, too. But, I was but actually, I was actually a little bit worried. I was like, oh, it's you're going to be the same day, that, but yeah, but you weren't worried about yeah, it. Yeah. So. Gotham Nights because Gotham is such an amazing stop. TV show. Um, so then I'm like, <laughs> they're going to go get food, show up. Anyway, so they show up at, at the house. I was actually talking to Grant at the time when they showed up because I wasn't expecting him that soon. Grant and I were on the phone. And I'm like, uh, my parents are here. <laughs> I got to go. Apparently my parents are yeah. here. Yeah, <laughs> and so they come in with their dog, um, Zero and Max see each other and are kind of like, eh, meh, whatever. Yeah. They, they don't really play. play together. They, they go and do their That's own thing. That's kind of a bummer. So, I'm like, whatever. so I get ready to do the text and my dad go. my mom tells me, before my dad says something, my mom tells me, the kitchen at Domain Chandon was closed, so they haven't eaten. And my dad's like, I'm starving. So I'm like, all right. He's like, do you have anything? And I'm like, well, yeah. I mean, I wasn't planning. Otherwise, I would have bought some stuff. But I'm like, yeah, I'll have some crackers and right. salami and cheese. And you were brought up, right? You probably would have offered anyway. But it's just yeah. kind of funny that they're walking. Oh, I'm starving. Yeah. So I'm getting together. Now, mind you, ta doing taxes. And it's the middle of the afternoon, so it's not like it's the most fun. And I want to get the taxes done over. Right. So now I'm finding crackers and cheese <laughs> like, and I need to salami taxes, damn it. and all this stuff to get out. And I'm getting it out. And like, I'm like, do you guys want cheese? They're like, no, 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 no. Just something simple. So, of course, I get the cheese anyway, which they of eat. Of course they ate. Right. right. <laughs> which was awesome. And, and then... You know, I'm like, do you want anything to drink? And it's like, no. My dad's like, well, do you have any wine? Well, yeah, I have a, we a have one bottle, bottle of bottle, which of is wine. fine. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, 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 I'll take it. I'm like, well, you have to open it yourself because right. I'm trying to I do get your it, taxes. Yeah. Got to do the taxes. So I'm, I'm putting together this little spread this so and going to do their taxes. And my, my dad makes some comment about, what, well, what? I come over and don't even have any wine. What am I? I have chopped liver. So... You're anyway, like, uh, you were so, com you're coming over for taxis, not coming over for dinner. The way that it worked <laughs> out is that that I did their taxes, mm -hmm. I fed them, and then they left. And then my dad was like, because uh, we and had <laughs> turned on the dishwasher in the morning, so we had a few dishes in the sink. Which you know me, I do not like dishes in the right. sink. But there were a couple plates, and now there were the plates that they used to eat. And <clears throat> my dad says, uh, "You're going to wash these before Annalise gets home, right?" Oh. And I'm like, uh, yeah. Now, this is while I'm doing his taxes. And I said, yeah, but I, I got to empty the dishwasher because the dishes are I'm put, Yeah, I said, it'll be done. Yeah, it better be done. I don't think she needs to come home to this. And I'm like, <laughs> and the, the funny thing is between the two of us, dishes in the sink wouldn't bother you at, not all. at all. Not at all. And I'm like, you I could care less. <laughs> bitch, it's me that freaks out. I'm like, oh, I got to make the bed. And Lisa's like, we're going to get back in it. I'm like, yeah. You know. I'm more like, oh, I should probably clean these dishes just because it's going to bother Neil. Mm -hmm. I don't clean them up because it bothers me. No. That's so. hilarious. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I ended up doing That's right. a funny afternoon. <laughs> yeah, like, it was... Your dog didn't play with my dog. It was funny. the it was snacks so... that we're going to take to yeah. Reno. Uh, drank the only bottle of wine. <laughs> it was great. Drank the only bottle of wine. Drink the only bottle of wine. And they're like, this wine is really good. I'm like, yeah, it's actually not that expensive. They're like, yeah, uh, 
you know, get more. And then they have you. Well, they don't have you. Right. You had heard that they liked it. So you ended up buying them. That's actually a funny story, too. I, I said, oh, that, yeah, it is really good. This is where I got it. This is how much it costs. Yeah. I, yeah, you're right. It is really good. I should stop by. Um, so, what was it? Four bucks? Uh, it was five ninety nine. a okay, bottle. Okay, so six bucks a bottle. Right, so it's um, this old uh, vine Zinfandel from out of Lodi, Lodi, actually. Hi, shout out Lodi. to Chris and Chris. <laughs> Chris and Chris. Chris, Chris and Chris from the Gravy Age. I was in Chris Lodi. and Erica, because they used to live there, too. Oh, right. Yeah, they, they don't moved. anymore. Right. Yeah. But they don't listen to our podcast. Huh. Yeah. Well, anyway, so um, I had I was texting your mom, and I sent her a picture of the wine bottle and said, this is where I got it, this is how much it costs. And I said, oh, yeah, it's just really cool, but um, I'm, I should stop by and get, get some more bottles. And she said, oh, that'd be great, thanks. Yeah, and I was so like, she took it. What? Yeah. <laughs> so I did. I was right. like, oh, yeah. No, no, Which no, no. we were going yeah. to anyway. Right. I would have gotten her some anyway, but it was right. just kind of funny. But um, so I got them a whole bunch of bottles of wine and yeah. got a couple for us. Which there, they but, were thrilled. Right. So if you and hear a vacuum in the background, I was just going to say, vacuuming. and they're vacuuming the hallway. So. Hey, you. Do I have some of this? Mm -hmm. Why would you tell me that? I just did. <laughs> what are you talking I just told you. I know, but. <laughs> you think it shows up on the podcast? I have to wipe my nose. No, it doesn't show okay. It won't show up. How am I doing? You're good. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, Podcast Up Orders. Mm -hmm. We were on their show on Sunday after we got home from Benihana. Wow, a lot's happened this I week. I know, God. Busy, it's been crazy busy, yeah. My God. Whew, I need a nap. We're not going <sighs> to get one, but let's do this. <laughs> I'm going to have to go pee soon. Me too. Do you want to, okay, do you want to go first? Do you want to pee first? Do you want to talk about Podcast Up Orders while um, I pee and then I'll come back and continue you're on? You're not going to talk about Podcast Up Orders? Yeah, but I, did you not listen How to what I just said? How fast can you go? Go, Re really go, quick. Go. I have the bladder the size of a gnat. I know you do. I can open, open it. <laughs> I can open it in no Let's, time at all. Uh, that's how you ended up peeing in the elevator. Which, by the way, we are going to go see a show tonight oh, in the goodness. same theater that we saw the last show where you ended up peeing in the elevator. And um, so we have discussed this and we actually got aisle seats. So that way Neil can leave and come back easily. Therefore, he can get up to use the restroom and in you know at his leisure and hopefully make it to the restroom so hopefully there will be no peeing in the elevator and um at some point today we'll take a picture of the alleged elevator uh that he has peed in in the past and uh post that but uh that's pretty funny but um we are actually gonna see a I'm, uh i'm gonna perform a magic trick later i'm gonna hide the salami boom 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 did you just see that so that so you oh, couldn't I, I see that? The camera. Yeah. <laughs> so um, the we are salami. actually going to see a magic envelope. show tonight. Here's the poster on the YouTube video if you can see it. Beat envelope. Um, it's called Madame, Madame Houdini, and um, Madame. I don't know. Yeah. But um, it's a woman um, magician. You're yelling. And uh, am I yelling? I don't know. I, I think I was saying. yelling so you could hear me where you were in the bathroom. Oh Sorry. no, I couldn't hear. You. I was peeing. <laughs> But so um, neither one of us has seen um, a magic show live, and so this will be a first for both of us, and that's pretty cool. I would like to point out that they have two shows here. I think it's the Houdini show and also some sort of weird guide group drum thing. Tap dance. Right. So how did you decide on the magician? Because uh, I didn't actually see the tap dance thing till after we got the magician tickets. Oh. But I, the magician, I've never seen a magic show neither live. Have I. So, so that should be pretty fun. Yeah. And that's tonight. So we'll um, post some pictures and do some stuff for that later. Or not. Or not. We might be I did that say that uh, we were going to take a picture of the P elevator and post that. Oh, so. all right. P, P, <laughs> P elevators. Oh, which reminds me. I, uh, so podcast. Do you have to, you want to go pee real quick and I'll talk about something else and then we'll come back with the podcast without borders. Sure. Okay. All right. I don't know what to talk about. Now that do you have leaving. other stuff? Oh, I can say. Uh, I no, can no, hold no, it. no, no, no. Go pee. No, no, no. Pee. I've got something. Okay. I got a lot of stuff. I've got, I'm going to make a bunch of jokes. You only have like two notes on there. I'm going to make a bunch of jokes about hiding my salami in your meat envelope, which I said earlier, but I didn't get a laugh, so I thought I'd try it again. Um, she's much better at talking about this crap by herself when I'm going pee than I am. Although I do have a fun voicemail transcript to read, although I have got to wait. For her for that so um what are you guys up to anything exciting anything going on out there i don't really have oh you know what i actually do this is kind of related to the podcast without borders but it excites me it's going to be my new podcast it's going to be but to brothers and that's because you want to wipe back to front so but to brothers look for that podcast coming soon but to brothers what? But to but brothers. But, but juicy crack sweat. Well, we're talking to podcast without borders, but I'm gonna it's gonna be my new podcast. But to brothers. 
Because you write white from butt to brothers. <laughs> right, right. I forgot all about that. All right, podcast. You have to listen to the podcast when it comes out. Glad you're back because I have nothing to say. So, uh, so podcast.borders yeah. um, is with uh, Diamond Dave and Aaron Corbett from, um, does Aaron have a nickname? I don't think he does. Yeah, he does. What is it? It's uh, A-Rod. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. Everybody calls him A-Rod. Okay, and so, it's kind of funny because he had it before Alex Rodriguez, which is really weird because I think... Okay. I think he's <laughs> half the age of Alex Rodriguez. So, so with, A-Rod, uh, A-Rod and Double D. That's what David we call. Yeah, and double, Aaron from double the Cool... Okay. Hey, what's up, A-Rod, Double D? Is he done? Yeah. <laughs> so it's with David and Aaron from, uh, from Cool Star Show. Pwob. Podcast Without Borders. From what's the, up, Pwob? So, A-Rod, Double D, Pwob? Yeah. I, you know. Come on, son. Do I need some more drinks or do you need less drinks? Hitting the Pedialyte. You can't stop this train. Choo 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 choo. Yeah, son. Are, are you done? No. Wow. I'm just starting. Okay. So talk about A Rod and Dub D. I was trying to, but you keep interrupting. Duh, duh. We call him Duh. Sometimes on the street. You need to like, time out. So, Damn it. Duh, duh. God. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. So. We want to thank David cool. and Aaron from Podcast That Borders. A Rod and Double D. Okay. <laughs> um, for having us on. Uh, we were on there uh, after, oh, we on Sunday on. after we went to Benny Hanna's and all that. And I think they were doing a double show that day as well. They had another uh, show after. A Rod Double D hitting the double shot on the Pwob. I have no yeah. idea what you're talking about. Pwob. Podcast Without Borders. Is that what that means? Pwob. Yeah. <laughs> Do they know that? They do know. You just gave them a nickname. <laughs> A-Rod Double D. God. Hope you're okay with that, Aaron. But, um, anyway. Who's Aaron? Aaron Corbett. Oh, A-Rod Double D. <laughs> All right, so how did that go for you? Did you enjoy being on their show? I did. It was great. I had a really good time. How about you? You told I me several times that you had a great time. So enjoyed I'm it. No, I actually had a really good time. They're, yeah, they're so fun. much fun. Yeah. Yeah. And they're very easy to talk to. Yeah. I, I feel like we could just, like, chat for a while and... It doesn't have to be a podcast or something. <laughs> well, you got really serious there for a while. We need to chat. We need to have a serious talk with them. And it doesn't have to be I'm a glad podcast. you stopped by today. I've been meaning to talk to you about something. Talk about our feelings. <laughs> mm. Mm. <clears throat> anyway, so look for that. That's coming out, I think, in March. We have no idea. I have no idea. They may not release it. It might you be. Know. They may sell it. <laughs> they might be like, oh, it might be their first know. vinyl release. They might be pressing on the forty-five. Pressing a vinyl. That would be impressive. A ride awesome. double D. Get your pwob on vinyl. So weird. Yep. Stop calling it pwob. It's kind of weird. Podcast <laughs> without borders. Pwob. Okay. Anyway, they'll let us know what comes it's out. It's no problem. Oh my god, that was terrible. I know. You need to stop. I think Tony just stopped listening again. I don't know if he's ever made it through one of our podcasts because he's probably like, God damn it. Are you talking guy. about Tony from Salty Language? Yeah, Does he just give he's up? Probably halfway like, through? That guy, I yeah. got it. That guy. I got it. They've been at Beer Fest all weekend. So. Beer festing it up. Beer festing it up. Um, it's and- almost like beer fisting it up. Mm-hmm. Oh, I wonder if they're beer fisting. God, I hope you guys are beer fisting. <sighs> Brian, Jeannie, Tony, beer fisting. I don't know what that means, but it sounds so cool. All right, what are we talking about next? Are you done? No, probably not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I have, uh, I made a list of my favorite quotes so far that I've heard in Reno. Are uh, you ready for this? Yeah. Smack my balls. That was okay. a good one. Okay. Don't you think? I don't. Um, I said yet. it to you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't you put that in my notes, though. <laughs> I didn't put that in my notes, though. So, okay. So, obviously, smack my balls is one. <laughs> So my other favorite quotes from Reno so far, mm-hmm. and we're only on day one and a half. Well, so we got some, we got some ways to go. We're more than halfway through our trip. Sure. Okay. So, uh, yeah. And um, I again thought of this because of a podcast that borders because they're from Canada. Plob. So this one, it was from two guys mostly who were talking to each other at the bar. I won't go any further than that. So one of the guys says to the other guy, um, "You know, the Canucks all go down to Cabo on vacation." All of them. All of them. Wow. You know, all the Canucks go down to Cabo on vacation. Wow, we gotta we gotta talk. So to I don't know what they've Canuck been doing, friends. but all you guys apparently go to Cabo. Ha- not only have been going to Cabo, but need to go to Cabo. Right. Apparently, that's just out there. Which is funny because I've seen I've I've met a few Canadians in Jamaica. Mm-hmm. Apparently, they haven't gotten the tip or right. the word that Cabo is the place to go and not Jamaica. If you're Canadian. Mm-hmm. So another one from the same man. <gasps> um. Your wife has a big butt too. That's cool. Nice. Two of the other man. 
Nice. And then there's a there's a pause where the man goes starts laughing says oh okay and he's like oh I didn't mean anything bad by that and the guy goes like no no for sure and I'm like wow yeah Whoa. I will I will say this <laughs> of, of the people that were over there uh, the one guy um, was extremely complimentary about us actually they both were right. but the one guy they were super nice one guy to each other right whose wife I guess was in the room or hadn't come down yet he was extremely comp- complimentary. About yes. her and saying how amazing beautiful she was, and gorgeous she was. Right. And he said, and he went on to say, like my wife after that. Right. So that's awesome. And he's like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, cool. no, they were yeah. both very compliment. And I'm not, right. but, but, but one dude was talking about like his wife and how amazing and gorgeous and everything she yeah. was. And that's, um, that's the guy who said both of those quotes. Right. And so, then, and then, <clears throat> and then wife showed up. Yes. Who seems like she's a very nice person. She seemed like a lot of fun. She seemed awesome. However. She didn't live up to the hype? Is that what you're saying? I am not saying that. Okay. I am just simply saying. Can I say that? No, I'm just saying however. Okay. I do want to say. She seemed like a lot of fun. I do want to say she did say this to her husband, which I thought was, which was my quote from that. She said, "We, we we have a lot of fun together. We have a lot of fun together. But I swear to God. It was on the edge of going, we have a lot of goddamn fucking fun together, don't we? And I was like, oh, she's getting a little aggressive for my She taste. showed up aggressive. She was talking about the fight yeah. that she caused in the hallway. Yes. But, and this is my last and final favorite quote mm-hmm. from the same group of people, mm-hmm. from one man to another. Mm-hmm. What happened to your first wife? You kill her? Wow. Because the because that other one was his I second that. wife. <laughs> I'm like, we need to go. Check. I do remember <laughs> hearing some conversation about one person saying, she's never been married before. That's, What's that wrong was with the her? younger couple. They were talking about how, well, first the guy says, we've been together for 20 years and we're not married. She doesn't want to get married. And then he talks a lot more and he's like, yeah, so we've been together for 25 years. I'm like, oh, did we just gain five years? <laughs> another drink, another five years? <laughs> I feel like I gained five years. Just listening to them. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's oh, a you, really... getting, you thought I was talking yeah, about you? Yeah, I was like, oh. Wow, wow. you turned quick. That was wow. funny. You, got, I was like, you were what? happy, got mad, and got happy hmm. again in like two seconds. Hmm. I'm good. Wow. So, anyway, so those are my favorite quotes so far. I will uh, take some notes on some more Reno quotes for you. Um, I don't want to make, I think Reno's, we like Reno. We have a lot of fun here. It's, we it's enjoy cheap Reno. and fun. I do like that our uh, bartender today was missing teeth. Absolutely. Which is awesome. He um, he was a good guy, though. He was very nice. And uh, and if you're a person that's missing teeth, it happens. Yeah. Ain't no thing. Happens, yeah. But sometimes... When you order a beverage, you're not expecting to see a grill missing an <laughs> Maybe emblem, they don't have the you know best dental plan here. No, know. I'm not saying either way. It doesn't matter. The guy was <laughs> totally, actually, he was super, super cool. He was super nice. I, I kind of, I'm not going to, you know, pass any judgments, but I he was uh, nicer and cooler and more attentive than the lady, who was the same lady that was there last night. Um, she's, I don't know. She's the one who messed up my drink. Maybe I'm just upset because she messed up my drink. Yeah, I didn't but, see um, her last night, so. I thought the young guy who was working last night was actually the best and the most attentive, and he remembered our drinks and kept no checking clue. on us. He had no clue what was going on. What are you talking about? He kept checking on yeah, us. Yeah, whatever. All right. So. Oh, oh, one more uh, favorite quote. Yeah. From the Starbucks this morning. There was a lady who um, was a little off her game, I'm just going to say. Okay. And we were both standing there waiting for our beverages to be made, and it was taking a really long time. And then the man, the guy behind the counter who actually took my order, looked at me and said, oh, are you still waiting for your drink? What did you get again? And I told him, and I got a, a double mocha or whatever. And he's like, oh, right, okay. And the guy behind the thing was got like, oh, it's coming, coming right up. Right. And the woman, who seemed a little off her game, looks at me and says, yeah, you know, um, I really think it's better when they put the names on the drinks so that way that nobody really gets confused. Right, because if they shout out, like... Right. Cappuccino. Right, for sure. And I, was, and I was like, and I sure. looked at her and I was like, yeah, for sure, you know, because there's, there's a lot of people here and, and you never know. And she's like, yeah. And then, they, and then all of a sudden the guy goes, water? And then she goes, something gets her water. Yeah. <laughs> and Pretty I'm like, sure I don't you think. Don't, you don't have to get confused about the water. <laughs> I just thought her fun. It was funny because, you know, her attitude of like, and they give water for free. So it was just like, so, okay. <laughs> That's your opinion. Yeah. <laughs> On your free water. Okay. Anyway, I thought I don't know why at the time I thought it was hilarious. I was just like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> well, it is. They really should. We don't want to get confused with our drinks. Yeah, I don't want 
on you to take Somebody my else might water. come up here, you know. <laughs> so, um, I have a transcript. Oh, voicemail? Mm -hmm. Awesome voicemail. However, <laughs> I, I do feel that this one may be just for fun. Like someone just did it on, on talked random I'm on thinking, purpose? Okay. Which is good. Yes. Okay. And we're, when we play it live, we'll know. Right. Here's okay. the transcript. Okay. Hey, it's payment, and I was going to call him. Nixon's joke about the Bush brothers been the internet blow up last night with the long running loose in the dressing. I don't really know where to start, but I'm just going to ask and ask a question, leaving what you think house wreck would cause the C. Okay, backers better. Exposing our agent. <laughs> Let's There's do that. just my bad attend <laughs> expiration date. Anyway, I hope you're transpired in the message that you guys and I talked to you guys were org about. I don't know why there's a comma after org. That's, what, org that's what Google decided to do. About. Does it say who it's from? Uh, no, it just says because they didn't say it. just says the number. Mm. All right. We'll have to figure that out. Yeah. So. If that's from you, please let us know. No, it's not from me. I read it. I know. Okay. Good. Who it's from, let us know. Do we I have any know. idea what time we're at? What time will we yeah, start? Yeah, no, I know. No, we're good. We're good. Okay. We have to, uh, we should get to our favorite five. So we also have to say that we had no favorite five prepared for today. So we are going to do a favorite five kind of off the cuff. Mm -hmm. So are, do you have some ideas for your favorite five? No. Our favorite five is going to be our favorite five favorite fives. No. No, it's not. That would, have been, that would be a good one. <laughs> I'd have to go back. What's our favorite five? Uh, things about road trips. Oh, five favorite things about road trips. Yeah, because uh, so uh, where we live to Reno, Nevada, it takes, without traffic, it takes about three hours. Took us about three and a half hours. Yeah, yeah it took us a little longer than that. Um, but we we were in traffic, so we were going to decide to do our five favorite things about road trips. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of road trip. So you go ahead first, number five. Um, my number five is I like um, big butts, and I cannot lie. All the all you other pops can't deny. Okay, so um, I like being um, in the car, and I, well, I mean, okay, so I don't really like to commute to work and stuff, but mm -hmm. I like road trips, and I like, because it's a different feel, and I like being in the car, and like, um, I don't know how to phrase this properly, but like, playing with all the car things, and like the navigation, and like, I don't know, I like putting the car to good use. I don't know if that's a right. That's your fifth favorite thing about road yeah, trips I like is putting to, the car to good no, use. No, well, I don't know how to phrase it, but I like, I'm, I get excited. I'm like, I, I load say, up the car, we, go we with get that. in the car, and then like, we play with the navigation, and we get all the stereo stuff all set up, and then I get my seat all set up, and, and I'm happy over there. It's like my little encampment, it's like my little homeless en car encampment. Wow, all right. <laughs> and um, no, I don't know. Your car is much more homeless encampment <laughs> When we're not going on a road trip, because I have to take out bags, three bags. I, I don't, I don't know how you have so much stuff in your car for a commute. But I swear to God, if there was ever a natural disaster and we needed to be safe, we should just go to your car because there's food and drinks and change of clothing and magazines. <laughs> you never know radios. when the shit goes down and you got to get on the lamb, you know? You got to I pull out got to make bag, a run for it. And it's <laughs> nothing <laughs> need to change the clothes. Bathroom accessories. I'm like That's for the gym. That's my gym bathroom bag. No, that's one of your gym bags. That's because I don't have any bathroom stuff in the other bag anymore and I don't have a locker at the gym anymore, so. Right. Anyways, thank you I think for you should that. Get a, a locker at the gym. <sighs> All right, you have an extra $75. A day? No, it's for the year. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, that's my favorite thing. I like to right. play in the car and get all... It is enjoyable. I like hanging out in the car of, with like, you. Little... And it's like, you right. know, yeah. And it's, it's totally different than, like, commuting to work every day, which is something that you have to do. This is something we choose to do, and it's fun. So, My number five favorite thing about the road trip is the driving, because I actually do enjoy you, driving. I never drive. Like, ever since we started uh, driving places oh. together and doing stuff together, I Wouldn't hardly... No, yeah. Well, I mean, I think that one time when we drove... I don't know if it was... I think it might have been to Tahoe, but I drove for, like, an hour and a half and during the middle, and that was it. Mm -hmm. But you... And I actually asked you when we were leaving uh, yesterday. I was like, so are you doing all the driving, or... I should have brought a pillow. <laughs> so I can take a nap. Right. <laughs> yeah, so I actually, I enjoy Yeah, you love part. driving. I, I do. Are I you going to remember your five and you're writing them down? Oh, I, I was going to make them up as I go along. Okay. So what's your number four? Um, 
I like the random um, food stops. You are not as into food, so we don't actually stop for food very often. Mm. But I am totally into food. Well, I'm you just... are. You have a strict diet. But um, there's been times where like we stopped once, I think on our road trip to see Zero, because that's also a long drive before right. we got him. Um, and we got the, um, what's that minty weird shake? The Shamrock Shake right. from McDonald's, which I decided was gross and I don't like. But like I never would have just randomly stopped at McDonald's and tried the Shamrock Shake just right. drive around town or going to work or whatever. Like it, it was a road trip that makes you stop. And I'm like, you know what? Right. I'm going to try this weird Shamrock Shake. I don't like it, <laughs> but I, I kind of look forward to that, like stopping at weird restaurants and right. things like By that. By weird, you mean different. Right. Yeah. Different than what we normally do every day. Sure. And I look forward to that, and I kind of like stare at the menu. I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, so their specialty oh, is... Which reminds me, should we talk about our coffee this morning? <laughs> no. Yes. Because it doesn't bother me, because I've learned to accept it. But maybe you can tell us how long and how many different coffee shops we went to this morning. Well, you weren't exactly helpful. Seriously? <laughs> well, you just... Uh, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. That is no, not what I expected. Like, you don't I have did an opinion. Like, that is about... not... Oh, my God. That is so not I true. Almost, it's like, I don't you know... You turned something that I was doing that was very you were, kind... You were super nice And now said it. it's my fault Su somehow. No, 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 no. That's not what I mean. You were mm -hmm. super, super nice super nice and let me kind of do whatever I want and I wasn't really sure what I wanted right and um I think that you probably weren't going to eat so. I told you that in the beginning so right. I'm probably not going to get anything to eat right if I do I can get anything anywhere right so we go to one place and um and I don't know why but I kind of vaguely remember that the coffee not being super great there and um, and you wanted an apple turnover right which they didn't have right and then they had some other whole bunch of sweet stuff but it was all i don't know nothing really looks right. good even though they had stuff and i'm sure it would have been totally fine right i didn't feel like any of the stuff that they had so we went to a second coffee shop so we went to a different coffee of shop which during that time you decided you didn't want an apple turnover you actually wanted something as you call savory right i was hoping for like a ham and cheese croissant or mm -hmm. something like that and then we got to the second place and this is just walking around in the same, like, three casinos. And, and you thought, things. right, because the three casinos are all Connected, locked. Right. Kinda... And they didn't, I think they might have had something, but I'm not totally sure I was going to ask. But then you pointed out on the menu that it said the mocha is made with dark chocolate. No. You said, where's, I, I don't see mocha. And oh, I right. say it's running, it says dark chocolate mocha. Right. And that locked you up. And you were right. like, oh, I can't do that. Right, because I don't like dark chocolate. So, and I was like, However, oh, yeah. we don't actually know if it's any different from the last time. We, we don't. And I, and I remember getting coffee there the last time we were in Reno and liking the coffee. So we left that coffee shop and went back to the first coffee shop. Right. Of which and, then you asked them if they had anything savory. Right, and they said... No, although it's actually kind of funny because the girl asked, she was like, I don't know, and looked at the other lady, and the other lady looked at me like, what? Like, she didn't understand the question either, and and um, so we, so she, she was like, oh, well, we have bagels. And then I said, do you just want to get breakfast? Right. I said, because there was matter, a coffee we don't have right a lot there, going right. on today, right. we can go get breakfast, Right. But of I, which then you said, well, then I'll still have an issue with the coffee, and I said, well, we can, you can grab your mocha right. from wherever, and take it there. Right. So then we went and looked at the menu of the breakfast place. Right. And then I noticed that, you know, the average breakfast was like 10 bucks, plus I have to buy the $4 coffee. And I was like, you know what? Let's just go back to the place or whatever. And then, because I don't want to spend that much. Right. I, you know, like if I go to the other place, it'll be like $4 plus a like $1.50 for a Danish or whatever. So then I said, do you want to go downstairs to the Starbucks? Right. And we noticed there was a Starbucks, right. Which did, they didn't have a Starbucks last time we were there. Right. So. We knew there was a Starbucks right away right but i you know was trying to support the right so then we went down to the starbucks so we ended up at the starbucks which was about 45 minutes later give or take right <laughs> of which then you got your usual mocha yeah. and your breakfast I got a sauce, sandwich yeah breakfast sandwich right right but I thought that was interesting. Yeah. Like, and I was fine. I'm like, I'm like, there's well, nothing else going. I wasn't hungry. I wasn't gonna eat. So I'm like, uh, I'm cool with just walking around. I wasn't really around. sure what I wanted, and nothing really sounded good. So, and I like coffee enough, and the coffee is expensive enough that I didn't want to like risk it. I know that sounds silly, but that's why people go to Starbucks in the first right. place is because you know what you're gonna get right. every it's the time. McDonald's it's the, coffee. Exactly. Yeah. You know, you right. know what you're gonna order. You're gonna get, and you know it's gonna taste like. So, so that's where we ended up. After about 45 minutes of walking around. There we go. <laughs>
So what's your number three? You did not do your number four. I did. Which was? I forget. Did driving. I not do it? No. no driving it was five. five. I number don't think four. you did. Oh, you know what? My number four is very similar to yours. It's the stops. I like the stops. I don't like to stop a lot, but every now and then it's kind of like where you go and you get like the beef jerky or the sunflower seeds right. and you get or... to see like i remember one stop when we were a kid in uh utah and mm -hmm. like they didn't have magazines or anything because uh i hate to say this but um i think that it was like an so that's not terrible um a mormon owned like gas station not, or something and terrible. so they did not have any like Mormons magazines are allowed to own to... things no for sure i just meant that like i don't know that what it was a mormon right. it was just a... they just didn't have magazines right so um and, you know, as a young girl, I went in there and it was a long road trip to Colorado. And I was like, what the hell? Do you don't have magazines? I'm going to freak out. So, but um, it was kind of funny that that's totally like different than other shops. Right. And so that's one of those things that uh, you find out when you go to random gas stations and shops on your road trips. <laughs> so what's your number three? Um, let me see. Oh, yeah, there we go. Um, kind of playing and singing in the car, like playing with the stereo and whether it's audiobooks or podcasts or radio, radio and uh, music and stuff. I like just playing with stuff in the car and like either singing with you or listening to podcasts together. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. It just kind of seems like um, a road trip thing to do. Mm -hmm. And nice. then um, like, and anyway, we, you know, kind of listen to, um, your preferred style of music for a while and listen to my preferred style of music mm -hmm. for a while mm -hmm. and you know I, I like that because it's definitely like a, a give and take kind of togetherness kind of thing and also um i hear music that i don't always hear when i'm by myself and right or um we don't always listen to podcasts together because we always right. listen to the same podcast and we realize right away that i've already listened to it or you've already right, listened to it right, so right. we usually listen to some music but anyway so that's uh my number three I like to play with all that stuff and Maybe sing along occasionally. <laughs> Very nice. That's that's a good one. Yeah. I just lost my number three. I had it in my head and I lost it. Oh. So let me uh, think of one real quick. Mm. My number three is, I know what it is. It's a, It came back to me. Mm. It's actually uh, reading uh, out loud of all the signs I see on the side of the road. Which I <laughs> absolutely love to do. That, what is that uh, that Billy Crystal movie where he's driving around with that old guy? Is it his, that's not his dad? I don't know. It's like his wife's dad or something I like that, know. and he reads like all the road signs. That is me. And I, he's like, at one point, he like is driving. He's like, ah! yeah, I <laughs> am. I am the big time. Oh, is that the you got it, Toyota? <laughs> yeah, exactly, um, exactly. Yeah, I'm, I just let like oh, Toyota, uh, Cattlemen's, huh? Chevrolet. <laughs> oh, look, change required. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh. I for some reason I really enjoy that. Well, it's funny, I think we both do that a little bit, but um, when I do it, I actually feel like, oh, okay, shut up. Like, Bobby doesn't want to hear that. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I'm like, oh, listen to my voice. Let's have everybody listen to my voice. <laughs> That's All right, what's your number two? Okay, my number two is um, the scenic road stops. You know that I love to take pictures. I'm a big picture taker, and I post all the pictures, but I love stopping at, like, the, the pullouts and the scenic stops. Right. And, like, there's one, a couple of them... Um, on each side of the freeway, like between here and home, right? And um, and it's like a, what is it called, the Overlook, right? Right. right and right, it's right. like a big bump out, and um, you can look over like the canyons and stuff like that. Anyway, I love, love, love those stops. I love to take pictures at those stops, and and <laughs> and I can't remember, but I think the last time we came, we came with my mom, and I got out, and you got out for a couple of minutes, but then you got back in the car, and I was like telling you to take pictures of my mom, and you're like, okay, I'll be in the car. <laughs> I don't remember it. You don't like remember that. getting back in the car? No. Hmm. You didn't remember? I thought you got back in the car. Oh my goodness. Do you not remember? I thought you got back in the car. All right. I guess the, I think that I just remember saying, you know what I think it was? Is that um, we were going to get back in the car and then it was like, <laughs> oh, we didn't get pictures. And so me and my mom stayed out of the car and you're like, oh, well, I'll get the car going again or whatever. So I think huh? that's what it was. Yes. It was it's not, it's not like I hate day. you guys and get back in the car. It was right. more like, <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Uh, so that was your number two? That was my number two. My number two is reaching the destination. That's always so exciting for me on a road. It doesn't matter what the road, but once you get there and you're like, yeah, we made it. It was pretty exciting. This time was, uh, this time was kind of funny because um, we do the valet parking because that way that stays in here as opposed to in that weird lot across the street that's out in the open. I think we parked oh, that's there once. Do the valet oh, no, just because you like to valet park. No, it's just I'm just lazy. Oh, once okay. I get here, I'm like, I need a drink. <laughs> Vacation. Yeah. Yeah, no. But um, 
so it was uh, really, really busy when we got here and there was a wait. Was and so yeah, we I grabbed just my bag and I ran inside to check in and there was no <laughs> there was nobody waiting in line to Which check in. Which was good because there and were a I, lot of people waiting in the line to park. Right. I came back out and you're just uh, you had just gotten out of the car and I was mm -hmm. like, Oh, okay, well cool. So it worked out really well actually. But yeah, it's really exciting. And that so what's you your uh that's my That's your number right, two. What's your number one? My number one is spending time together in the car. That's my favorite thing about the road trips because it's like intensive time together and right. there's not a lot of i mean i was gonna say distractions but obviously you're paying attention to your driving sure. and we're and we're playing like you know games or talking or chatting or stuff but i mean right with each other we're not really doing a lot of other stuff like tweeting or you know like i mean i think i tweeted a couple times and that's when i figured out that twitter wouldn't let me tweet anymore right <laughs> it's a lot of tweeting um, I know the fall of Friday took its toll on my uh, tweet number, and apparently uh, they decided, what are you doing over there? <laughs> I was just answering something. Go ahead. Um, so they decided that uh, to cut me off. So I was right. like, wow, okay. Yeah. But anyway, I think it's really cool to spend that time together and experience the road trip. And I know, it's fun. Roger sent a picture. I was trying to see it, but it wasn't working. Because uh, the title of the picture was zero, and I'm like, a... what? Yeah. He's not, he doesn't have our dog. <laughs> I don't think so. You never know. Um, so my number one is the same thing. It's, it's the, like the, the person that you're doing the road right. trip with. So the road trip is really awesome or really not awesome. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> I've, I've obviously always enjoyed the road trips we've done, but I've done a few like really long road trips with Heno mm -hmm. and it just, for me, and maybe it, maybe it's just me, but I just feel like you get this bond and this connection mm -hmm. with that person when you're in the car so long because you talk about right everything. and i also feel like if you can be in a car for a long period of time with someone in such an enclosed right. environment intensive environment and you can't leave you can't stop you can't get out right and you get along and everything's cool then that's pretty good right you guys are solid right <laughs> and i i think people don't mind doing road trips with me because i'm a fairly clean neat person mm -hmm. anyway so it's not like they have to worry about me going freaking crazy all of a sudden in the car and i enjoy it so like, crush and up I'm, a bag of chips and throw it all over the car right <laughs> and i'm very like easy going about like i'll listen to any music so yeah. it doesn't matter but no for me the, yeah, the number one thing is the is just that time with that person because i'm not going to do a road trip with someone i don't right. enjoy so yeah i've done road trips with my uh, family and stuff and it's all gone uh, pretty well and it's been fun and yeah yeah so it's in yeah i remember being a kid and doing road trips with my parents like to tahoe nothing huge but just kind of putting on my headphones and just zoning out and then my dad <laughs> the, his the, feeling gets all hurt because he thinks oh. like oh i don't want to hang out it's like i'm freaking 14 years old no i don't want to hang out with you <laughs> i'm happy to be doing this but i just want to listen to my music right hey. right um i when i was younger i want to say like 10 or maybe it was eight we did that huge road trip to Colorado. It took us like two days. Mm -hmm. I just it just about killed me. Yeah. Two days there, hung out for like four or five days, and two days back, I just about died. I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna freak it out, freak it out! I need to get out of the car. Yeah. And I'm a little claustrophobic anyway, and so being like locked in the car with everybody, I I lost my shit a couple times. Yeah, Hanno and I did a, <laughs> a road trip to Arizona and a road trip to Mexico. So as well as the the other little Tahoe's little and right Tahoe's Reno and, and, yeah. and stuff like that, but. Yeah, it's uh, we it's it's funny because we're obviously we're very close, we're mm -hmm. very good friends, and we do have some differences in opinions in things, but right. we we enjoy so much arguing, not putting the other person down, but having a difference. I think of that opinion. you like the discussion. I yeah, don't know if I would call it arguing. Yeah, both as of much us as enjoy that, but it, breaking it down. <laughs> there's a couple. Times, there was one time. I think I told him something like, I don't, I don't even know what you're talking about right now. <laughs> and then later he was like, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure that's exactly what I, what I was going for, but oh, we've had, we've had a blast. And with you two, we don't talk as much. Yeah. yeah I about, actually like, was wondering, but you don't talk stuff. that much in the car. Yeah. Well, you're not a big fan of talking. <laughs> so I try not to, but I, when I think of something that you, you know, you're cool with talking about, I'll bring it up. But in my head, Oh, I'm having conversations. I'm all sure about all you're the time. you're always conversating in your head. <laughs> I am conversating. So that's I have our no idea five. what time we're at. How are we doing? Uh, we're ready to go. We're done. We're good. We're done. Awesome. Call it a day. Um, we're gonna go eat, and then we're gonna, gonna uh, to chillax today, yeah. a little bit. You have not. Oh, eaten. we should give a weather report. It's yes. very cold in Reno, overcast and gray. It was snowing earlier. It stopped snowing. Oh no, it's snowing. Actually, I can oh, see it. it. Is. Yeah, it is snowing. Snowing sideways. Um, but then, but it's not sticking on the ground. No, no. 
It's sticking on my stronger. What? I don't see how, Woo. but okay. New water so pot for you. we're going to um, go eat a little bit. I haven't eaten today. Why not? Yes, I know. I've been trying to get you to eat all day. Because mm, there's a lot of drinking and not eating. <laughs> been busy. Um, and then we're going to come back here and you're going to put up the show and we're going to chillax a little bit. Yeah, and, I have to start downloading it now. Right. And then um, we're going to go to uh, Madame Who's Dini tonight. Who's Dini's? Who's Dini's? These Dini's. <laughs> exactly. Um, and then, I don't know, we might gamble a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, go to sleep. We'll get go up early and go home. And then uh, drive through the snow home. Yep. They uh, closed the pass, I saw, a couple times. It'll be fine. Tomorrow. It'll be fine. Well, we have uh, the new Subaru. It is kind of nice. Try. So we finally got that, the, our Pittsburgh nerd pants. Mm -hmm. We finally got the, uh, the all-wheel drive, and we actually had to use it coming up. Yeah. Well, we didn't actually have to. But it was snowing and sleeting. Right. It was crazy. <laughs> so it was kind of, it would have been kind of a bummer if we, our first trip to... The mountains in our new all-wheel drive. It's like, man, well, 70 degrees and sunny. Good thing we got this thing. Yeah, well. All right. You have anything uh, to say about uh, um, our podcast? I think that's about it. Just want to thank Happy everybody episode 50. for listening. Almost a year. And thank you for episode 50. Thank you for doing this Hopefully with me. Nick will bought himself a cake for us. Right. Uh, Nick was actually joking about uh, having a cake and uh, he could just eat it live on <laughs> just oh, there, recording which, of him eating cake. Which reminds me, I wanted to show you something real quick. Uh, so you want to, here, do some of those things. Tell okay, so things. Um, thank you for listening to Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks. You us. can find us on so many things. The Facebook, the Instagram, the YouTube, the Pinterest, all at Daft Pod, of course, D-A-P-F Pod. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. on the Twitters, I assume you know who we are already, but I am a Wire Tech Girl. And Neil is Angels Freak 7. What the, is that, is that Nickel? Yeah, don't, <laughs> don't say what it is out loud because I don't know. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. I remember him talking. He talked yeah. about that. I, did, but I, don't, on, I don't know. Uh, well, he talked about it on uh, the Gotham podcast. Yeah. So Anyway, so, um, and also give us a call on our voicemail. Obviously, we'll read it, and at some point, we'll play it. You can call us at but 7. By laughing at that picture, you were saying that Nichols an extraordinarily good-looking person. Absolutely. That's, and what he was um, holding on to was awesome. Yes. Okay. That's what it meant. So all, all of those things. Okay. Good. So, voicemail number is 774-327-3713 or 774-DAPF-713. You can find us on our awesome networks, musingsofageek.com, poddam.com, podgodsnetwork.com, and of course, tangentboundnetwork.com. We are on yeah, iTunes, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, yeah. Spark We're Radio, everywhere. Radio Fubar, Geek Life, Radio.com. No longer on Cast Cloud, which this is a bummer. Cast Cloud is going, yeah. But um, there you go. So, Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks. We also like spicy pickles. 50. I don't like spicy pickles. I do. Okay. You like this Who's spicy pickle? Sure. I thought you liked my spicy pickle. Argentinian pickle. That's yeah, weird. Is it? Maybe not. <laughs> Say goodbye. Bye.